We're back. She's oh. jumping again. Oops. For We're her starting. energy. I We're starting. Okay. don't even know what that means. But, okay, are we ready for this? <laughs> shot, shot. Oh, wait, we okay. can't sing. So. No, we can't. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Okay. It's not a very big one because you're almost out. Oh, God. It's good. It's good. It's horrible. It's horrible. Okay, so really fast before we get into the actual video, my daughter and her friend and my youngest daughter are dying to make a cameo appearance. Like they've been waiting all morning. They were so excited when they heard Rachel was coming over and we were going to film. So come on in. You're going to have to really like, give me, come on. Okay, Ava, Ava, say hi. This is hi. Ava. That's this Sophie's is, friend Ava. This is hi. Wait, come here, Sophie. This is Sophie. This is my oldest. This is the 12 year old that had the, when the, she turned three yes, in the hospital. Yes, when she was little. Sorry. Emmy, come here. You told that story on Emmy, camera. Come here. <sighs> Come you tell my life. All you have to do is say hi. Oh, you look, yeah, you you look got beautiful. Pretty you have on video. your jewelry. You said you told, you told, you told, her. Just you come told say hi. me you wanted to. Do you want to sit on mommy's lap for one second? Okay, come here. She's a little camera shy. She told, told me. Told me okay. like she told me. She said, I put on all my jewelry for the video. Okay, and this is my youngest, Miss Emery. Can you say oh. hi? Can you wave? Look, look at yourself. Look how pretty you look. Are we done? Okay, we're done. Yeah. And they okay. smell nice Girls. too because <laughs> watch her. Her. YouTube yeah. can smell you. Okay, watch her and do not come and get me unless somebody's bleeding. Okay, thank you. Yes. yes. We're dying. Um, sure, but not far. Okay. <laughs> Let me lock that. Hold up. <laughs> so, okay. anyways, we had a lot of questions about um, from our first video, like. What are you guys doing? Why? What, what? What's going on? Oh, this yeah, is so why? Why? Yeah, we loved it, but it's a little bit long. Sorry, sorry. Um, so this for next vlog is going to be more about like why we're doing this. Yes. And a little bit about like our passions and what drives us as individuals. Um. So I think both of us agree that all over social media, there's these women. Not that, us. That we're jealous of or secretly hate that, you know, have these white, crystal clean. Christine houses. Yeah. And they're, they're like, their children are just like, well, you, your children are really cute and put well, together yes. on, on social media. I have cute kids and she has cute kids. However, there's a difference between having cute kids and having perfectly behaved kids. Right. And, and it all just seems so perfect. And mine are not perfectly behaved all the time. Or neither is our houses. No. Oh my gosh. My house is a shithole at the moment. And it's just like, how, is this real life? Like, are we really just failing that much? Or, you know, are we real life? And that's just Oh, I ask myself that all the time. Like, am I just sucking? at being a stay-at-home mom well in like in how? real life though i have been over to people's houses and their houses look like that and they might have children too and i'm like but do they know people are coming over because if right. i know so, somebody's coming over right. i can get my house to look I'm really like, good did you clean your house for like eight hours and there's not a single toy no. i don't see a toy or what, are, what do your kids play with you walk into somebody's house and they're like i'm sorry it's a disaster it's freaking spotless their definition of a disaster is like nothing like mine is, is my like clean house. a hurricane came through and ripped it to shit that that's what my house looks like so anyways a little bit about why we're doing this is more to like portray we're not those people and when this, this is our normal life and hopefully a lot more people can relate with that than than you know perfectness mm -hmm. um now i will say a couple years ago, this started bugging me that I saw these perfectly white houses and these perfect, well-behaved children that never, you know, ate anything beyond like a Cheerio, an organic, whole grain, gluten-free, no GMOs Cheerio. Um, she probably feeds her kids that I don't. But anyways, so a couple, maybe like a year and a half, maybe almost two years ago, you've seen my posts. I'll post on Instagram or Facebook and they're very real posts. They're not they're what's really going on like our car rides home from school every day are absolute hell or our sunday mornings trying to get anywhere hell like those real things that happen and i felt the need to post about that like my laundry room disaster and so i started posting posting pictures of those things and i got a lot of really good feedback from them right because i think people can relate to that more yeah than 
the perfect. Yeah, the massive laundry room that's like bigger than my bedroom right. that has like a sink and an island for. I mean, can you imagine having an I island? I might do laundry if my laundry room's like that. An island to fold your clothes on. Like I <laughs> fold my clothes on top of the dirty clothes hamper sometimes. <laughs> like not even kidding. And like my island is the dining room table that perpetually has endless amounts of clean clothes on top of mm -hmm. it. I want an island in mm -hmm. my in my laundry room. So that's one of the reasons why we're kind of doing this vlog and I don't know when we just sit back and chat we have a lot of fun and think it's really entertaining so we're like we should record this yeah, sometime. You might disagree but. Also so a few weeks ago you know this crazy one is like so for years I've been thinking about this and I really want to do this. Years well, maybe not years years but since we've been hanging out on a regular basis a year or two maybe. yes and i have i should i have a small business i've had a small business for a couple years now um i make hair bows i make a lot of stuff but really cute hair bows yes and hair, hair bows was the initial Those um, guys. start anyways um i've never wanted to be in business with anybody else because i feel like it can get messy really easily however i trust rachel and we like we said before we either think this like the same or polar opposite but i think as far as business goes i don't have the um, knowledge that rachel has um and I, that's not one of my strengths but i think we both feel and have the same beliefs from a business aspect mm -hmm. and so she was the first person ever that i've been like you know what if i'm gonna start a business with somebody i want it to be rachel and thankfully she um didn't like laugh at me because I thought that's what she would do because I sounded nuts. At first it was a little bit crazy. So can we tell them what like our, our yeah. end game goal yes. is? Yes, yes. Wait, before we not, do that. Not necessarily with this vlog. Okay, go. I have to get my Red Bull. Oh, okay. okay. So I'll explain this a little bit. Um, So Amanda was like a couple weeks ago, she said, um, so I've had this idea for a long time and I'm just wondering, you know, if you want to partner with me in this and whatever. So she's like, I've always wanted a lifestyle brand. And I'm like, what's that? Like, what do you mean? What is it? And she's like, you know, like just all sorts of different products. Stuff. Yeah. And she, that she makes or like, you know, creates or designs or picks out because that's what she's good at. So um, I'm like, yeah, I don't No, I'm not good at that, but I'm good at the business side. I'm good at, okay, what's our business plan? What's this? What's our first step? How are we going to make money? And she's like, oh yeah, make money. Yeah. yeah. That's... And I'm like, well, it's not a business if you don't make money, it's a hobby. So, and I don't necessarily want to partner with you for just another hobby. Like that would be fun. But if you want to really do a business, we're going, I'm going to make you really do a business. So this is how we just compliment each other. So eventually we're going to have like, we will have some stuff. Products. Yeah. But that's yeah. not, um, Right now, that, not that's, anytime soon. No, right now we just want to get out, of our build house. up an audience. I need to get out yeah, of my house. and be real with other people out there, relate to other people out there, and see kind of what people would like be interested in, and yes, whatnot. So exactly. that's a little bit about why we're doing all this and what we're going to do. What we're going to do because we have posted a little bit about partnering in a business, and people are like, "What is the business? What is yeah. the business?" And I'm like. At first, I was like, I don't know how to explain it. No, and we didn't. We had to sit down and come up I even with told, a told very people, rough edited, like, mission statement. I told people, like, lifestyle brand or whatever. I'm like, think Martha Stewart. And I'm like, but, you know, not that big. No, my definition like, was Martha Stewart, younger, cuter, and without the prison time. Mm -hmm. And, like, more of a yeah, modern-day Martha Stewart. Sorry, Martha. Um, More like you know, kids, um, products and stuff that helps moms and, mm -hmm. um, just real life stuff. Not decor. like, she's really great at home decor. I do love an accessory, mm -hmm. but, um, not so much like, you know, the polite right. and appropriate way to set a table. Like, I don't know how to like the right way to set a table. Like, I don't make a table, look but I could make beautiful. a table look freaking beautiful. Yes, I can. But I don't know where to place a freaking fork. I don't even have enough forks to give each person two forks. I really don't. And they wouldn't. And maybe I have enough, but they would never match ever. Like, I think we have four sets of like different mismatched. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Whatever. So is life. So that's a little bit about why and what we're doing. Um, and then we, for this next video, we kind of just want to touch on our passions and what we are passionate about. Um, 
You want me to go first? You want to go first? I don't, whatever. I don't care. Whatever you tell me. So, there are, I can think of like two things that I'm passionate about. And, um, well, I guess first and foremost, my main man, Jesus Christ. Team Jesus. Team Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um, I grew up going to church, you know, every Sunday and Wednesday nights. And, um, we did, we even did cell group. I know cell group. It sounds, it was back then it was called cell groups. And it, now I think they call them small groups. Oh, like Bible study group? Not a Bible study. The whole family went and they would discuss what the pastor talked about. So you grew up in what? A Baptist? Southern church? Baptist. Southern Baptist. And mm -hmm. I grew up in a Lutheran church. Um, we are non-denominational now. That's a church mm -hmm. we go to. But And I still go to a Lutheran church. Actually, I go to the same church that our, the little one that was in her lap and my three-year-old. So my, I have a three-year-old and she's about, Emmy's four. So they go to preschool at um, a Lutheran church. And I actually amazing. go to church there too. Um, but, you know, during college and my young adult life, I was one of the holiday church goers, you know, or, you know, when my mom would be like, please come to church with me this Sunday, you know, I'd go once in a while. But now that I have kids, um, I'm definitely, that's a priority. That's for me important. And yeah. My life and, yeah, and raising my kids that way. So that is one of my passions and priorities in my life that, you know, However, am I perfect? No. For instance, today we're recording this on a Sunday and it's... Uh, my husband's at church. Just after church yeah. time. My husband is at church. So we did not make it to church we are this heathens. morning. Yeah, we are here recording. For my husband too. had some stuff going on and my three-year-old stayed at my in-law's house last night. So we're, we're kind of all over the place today, but there is like, I think a six o'clock service. Maybe we'll try to go on. And with saying yes. that, I just want to... We are not the type to push our beliefs on anyone. Whatever you believe, as long as you're not hurting anybody else, I'm cool with that. We're just telling you what who we are, our priorities are, and our yes, who we are. So I would say my other passion is um, health and fitness. Now, am I always healthy? No. Do I always go to the gym? No. But I try to practice those things, and I actually like enjoy working out. I enjoy it. You have a really good knowledge base too for nutrition and exercise I don't have that and like if I ever have questions about oh, I want to tone basically from here down what do I do mm. and she can tell you like she can go through all the steps and at some point I need you to train me like to have that um whenever you're swimsuit ready swimsuit body we tried this before on this I know nutrition. we did and and I that's need it's, it, that's my fault I like never like I wasn't quite on the I didn't even really? fall off like the bike. I was never really on the bike, but mm -hmm. I would. That's really I and would she like needs to, do to that. get on the bike instead of oatmeal cream pies for breakfast. Yes, if you watched I our know. first video on fruit snacks, this morning it was a um, options. This morning it was a really thin chocolate chip cookie. They're called Tates. Oh my gosh, it's like a shortbread cookie anything. with chocolate chips in it. They are amazing. Ooh, that sounds really good. I always eat breakfast. I always eat breakfast. Even if it's crap, I eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. I don't eat lunch. <coughs> okay, that's that's the So anyways, yeah. I'm really into health and fitness. And, you know, I know a lot of people who, like, are wanting to, like, start working out or whatever. Like, how do I start? Where do I start? My advice would be if you can afford it to initially, like, if you want to start working out, hire a personal trainer. Because you really want to know, like how to do things so you don't hurt yourself and then they can teach you the basics and whatever and then you can kind of go from there and for me it was um I, I never worked out until 2012 I was going through my divorce this one even did like what are those called like the bodybuilding competitions you know the didn't you I didn't do, do it I thought you did a fitness like you know the little bikinis where the women are really tan I swear there's a picture of you that you did one of those no I didn't I would never do that. Sorry. I mean, I'm not against it, but Sorry. I'm not that. Okay, but Billy, Billy did. Billy did. Her husband, husband did do that. Yes. Yes. He did. It's crazy. I'm I'm losing it's my mind. It's too apparently. strict for like I can't do chicken and broccoli. That's every all. meal for for weeks. That, that's for really all you can eat. Yeah, and I just don't eat like that. I have found something that works for me that I can enjoy pizza. And, but I can get a lot of dense nutrients in and whatnot and to fuel my body and to be healthy and to have energy. Um, and that's what works for me. So and I'm not going to say, I'm not strict 
dieter. I eat crappy food a lot and I enjoy it. Last night, Billy and I, <laughs> well, we were going to go to this nice Italian place, but I thought he made reservations and he thought I did. Oh, so we show up and he's like, is it under your name? And I'm like, you guys actually you showed you up? It. Yeah. So then we went to Old Chicago and had pasta and pepperoni rolls and then I felt like crap. But we still enjoyed that stuff. We had Chipotle two nights in a row. Literally, we both had the exact same order two nights in a row. Yeah, I know. But now, with, and I want to say this, I want to add this to what you were saying. Rachel, I'm more, like if I, I'm really good at dieting. I can diet like forever. I'm, that's what I'm good at. I'm, I don't work out. That's my problem. However, hers is always, I come to her and I'm like, I want to lose 10 pounds in like two weeks. Okay. I, I get it. That's not like healthy and it's not even probably possible. However, she is more, her goals are more doing everything from not only a healthy standpoint, but are you getting the nutrition that you need? And I appreciate that. It might well, not always really be my priority, People get confused. but I appreciate it. People get confused. Oh, yeah. They want to eat healthy food and they eat broccoli and chicken, but that chicken that you're eating is pumped full of hormones and antibiotics, steroids and antibiotics, and you're not eating like necessarily the right chicken. And that broccoli has actually no nutrition in it because the way we farm, I'm not going to get into this whole tangent on this video, but she could get in on a tangent. Your vegetables and fruit aren't as good as they were 50 years ago. They don't have the nutrients in it. So you have to supplement your body with nutrients and supplements and products that are dense in those nutrients. And so I found some products and we'll get into that maybe some other day, but that do that for me. And they're like nutrient dense. And when I put them in my body, I feel different. You, yeah, better. you feel different. Mm -hmm. And so for me, like I said, I was always more weight loss motivated, but when you actually like start eating better, you feel better. Mm -hmm. And anyways, so yeah, that's it. Oh, and if you're in the area, like I said, I would advise you if you want to start working out to get a personal trainer. My brother-in-law is fantastic. Here if you're you in the area, we're Thompson, in the Kansas City area. Johnson County, like Kansas area. Tom Fenholm. Hit him up. Tom Fenholm. Or comment. I'll give you his number. And maybe if you mention that you saw this vlog and you want to work out, he'll give you a deal. Okay. Oh, did you ask this of him ahead of time? No. Oh, I he hope will. he agrees. Well... I asked Billy. Oh, oh, good, good. I and that's know. his brother, so he has yeah. to. Okay, so my passion. Um, first of all, I want to say that I have always had a desire to be successful in something, which probably sounds silly and selfish. Um, yes, I graduated nursing school. Yes, I was a nurse. I worked as a nurse for a while. Um, and I'm really good at procreating. Like, so... But I have always had a desire to feel like I'm successful at something beyond making children, which is a blessing and I love my children so much and they are my life. So I'm not trying to uh, minimize that in any way. Right. I'm just talking from a selfish standpoint. You want to prove that you're more than just, yes, more than just a baby maker? Yes, exactly. That's the, I do. I'm sorry. We have two dogs, two big golden retriever dogs. Real life. Yeah. And so you're going to hear those in the background. Anyways. Um, so for me, uh, and it's not, I'm not money motivated and mm -hmm. probably to a fault and it drives her nuts. It drives my husband nuts. Like her bow business. And I'm like, well, how much did this book? She's like, I, like I ordered some bows from her and she's like, well, what do you want to pay? I'm like, well, how much are they? And I, she's like, well, I don't know. And I'm like, well, how much did it cost you? And she'll be like, I don't know, like a couple bucks. And I'm like, okay, how much time did you spend on this? And she's Way like, too much time. seven hours. And I'm like, well, what's, what's the, the value of your time? Those are the hand-painted bows. Yeah. What's the value of your time? She's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, if you were working somewhere, you know, what would somebody be paying you? And it's a foreign concept to her. So she has no idea. Like, No, like I don't, I'm not motivated by money. I, I, my passion, my true passion is to create things, to make shit pretty. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be bows. It could be um, my face, her face, my face. It could be a table. It could be a piece of furniture. Um, Christmas I, tree. A Christmas tree. I just love creating things. And I love creating things out of old things and turning them into something totally new and totally unexpected. Right, because you are the cheapest person I know. I am. No, I am. I mean, no, 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 I like penny. I am. But I penny pinch. Like, you do all of it like 
without spending much money. Yeah, I do. And, and, um, I, you know, when I was a single mom, when I got divorced, before I got remarried, I, we were so poor. I was a full-time student. At one point I was working three jobs and I had two children under the age of four to take care of. Um, at one point three, both under the age of three. Anyways, so I know what it's like to be really poor. Like I couldn't afford a pack of gum. Like I'm not even kidding. That pack of gum was at least a meal I could have fed my kids. And I think that when you go through that, it kind of stays with you. So for me, that's, I, I want to do everything I can as cheap as possible while also still having quality. Um, anyways, I love to make things, you know that. Like I will find something to make. And when I'm making something, it's like therapy for me, truly. Like my brain zones out, the world is beautiful. It's a happy place. It's, you know, rainbows yeah. and unicorns. Like, and I could sit, I, I make stuff out on my back deck. I call that my office. And, um, I sit out there a good portion of the day, even when it's like zero degrees, you know that mm -hmm. I will be bundled up in my car hearts blankets, and blankets mm -hmm. and I will be sewing or painting. Like I have painted outside to the point where the paint is literally freezing, but that's my happy place. That's what makes me me. That that's what makes me just makes happy. me do something inside. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, so do you enjoy it? Yeah. I love to make things. I love to create things. Um, so, and I've also kind of discovered, um, in this path that even creating content, which is what we're doing, I even enjoy doing that. Um, I don't know how pretty we're making it. This, <laughs> this picture is actually from my uh, dining room and it's you a big picture. I mean, it's huge. It's what? Probably like just under five oh, feet. It, yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. It was really hard to even get this upstairs. <laughs> um, but like, I'm like, we well, need to make it kind of pretty. I have big plans to make it way prettier. And it, you know, probably a year from now, started. it will be like transformative. Like you won't even, even recognize it. It won't be it. your bedroom anymore. It'll be yeah, but shooting room. Yeah, I will convince Tyler to, you know. Go sleep somewhere else. Yeah. Anyways, do you have any other passions or is that like- My kids are room? my passion. Yeah, I love, of like, I mean, honestly, this is gonna sound so silly, but the little one that you met, Emery, Miss Emery, um, I love dressing her. Like I am like her personal stylist. I'm not even kidding. She has never repeated. Oh, you're gonna sound so. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not Go gonna ahead. say it. She's never repeated an outfit to preschool in like two years. Okay. Well, two years. Never repeated an outfit. And she rarely repeats. But clothes. she goes. She only goes three, two and a half days a week. So, so two full days, sure. one half day. Um. But I, I, Not my kids. I, everything, hey, you get the clothes after, so. That's true. You're welcome. But like, I'll pick out something for her. I'm like, did you wear this last week? No. Okay. No, okay. I actually texted my husband last week. It was a Monday and I, or no, it was Thursday. And I'm like, did she wear these overalls last week? I can't remember. And this was like a big deal to me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, are you really this person? <laughs> and I will be up late the Emory has hundreds of bows because I've been making bows since Sophie, the 12 year old that you saw was a baby. Um, so we have hundreds and hundreds of bows and the night before preschool, every night, three nights a week, I will be sewing new bows. Cause I feel like, well, she's worn, like they've all seen these. So yeah, I have a problem. Mm -hmm. But, um, anyways, so I think that's pretty much a why yeah. and why our... we're doing this, what we're doing and what we're kind of passionate about. So like with our passions, you'll probably see more content. You will see lots of content about some of those things and other topics, you know, like I said, I have a list of 134 and, video ideas and growing. Yeah. So anyways, that's a little bit more about us and why and what we love. Like subscribe, subscribe and ring the bell. I still don't know where you ring the okay, bell at. So Where's I the can't, bell? I'm pointing at my phone and we're recording. I on know. Phone. So if you go on YouTube and you hit the little button that you would do to subscribe, that you would do to subscribe. Uh -huh. Next to it, there would be a bell and you would hit the bell and it, a little drop bar comes down and it says uh -huh. all or personalized. And if you click all, then you are notified when a new video of ours posts. Uh -huh. Because YouTube changed something. Um, this was a while ago. I saw it on other people's YouTube videos. But make sure you subscribe yes. and like. Subscribe and, and ring the that. bell. Ring the bell. So have a 
I don't know when you're gonna see this, but we're gonna try and have a good rest of our Sunday. Maybe today we could post this. Maybe, today. maybe, maybe Sunday. Have a good rest of your Sunday. Yes. Or whatever day yeah, it whatever is when you watch is. this. Bye. Peace out.